and welcome to Beyond American Shores, where Japanese toys are seen and heard. And welcome back to Power Ranger Samurai Zord Month! For the fourth and final week of Power Ranger Samurai Zord Month, I'll be looking at the ultimate samurai combination, the Samurai Gigazord! This episode is all about the combination with all 11 Samurai Zords. Let's get started. For this combination, I will start with the Claw Armor Megazord, Samurai Battle Wing Cannon, and Bull Megazord. We will start with the Bull Megazord. First, pull the Bull Megazord's legs up. Next, detach the arms and chest piece. Next, close the helmet. Next, Detach both discs and reattach the Bull Zord disc on the head of the Bull Megazord and the Gigazord disc on the gun. Finally, open up the cart. The Bull Megazord is now ready. Now we will need the Claw Armor Megazord. First, detach the chest piece and reattach it to the peg beside the Dragon Folding Zord leg. Next, detach both the Turtle and Eight Folding Zords from the Megazord. Next. Take both katanas and attach them to the helmet of the Claw Armor Megazord. Next, detach both arms and turn them into the pincers for the Claw Zord. The Claw Armor Megazord is now ready. Now we will need the Samurai Battle Wing Cannon. First, take all the Tiger Zord arms off the cannon. Next, attach the tail of the Swordfish Sword and reattach it to the middle of the cannon. Next, take the cannon off the base and detach the entire base. Next, pull the stand legs upwards, which become the top legs of the Octazord. Next, take the Tiger Zord head and attach it to the circle peg from the stand. Finally, attach the crown of the Samurai Battle Wing to the head of the Beetle Zord. The Battle Wing Cannon is now ready, and we are now ready to combine. To start the combination, first attach the body of the Battle Wing Cannon to the back of the Bull Megazord. Next, attach the claw sword arms to the arm pegs. Next, attach the turtle and eight folding swords to the pegs on the feet. Next, attach the bull megazord arms to the claw armor megazord. Next, attach the tiger sword legs to each arm. Next, attach the big gun from the bull megazord onto the helmet of the claw armor megazord. Next, get the feet of the Octazord and pull out the back peg from the Samurai Megazord and attach the legs to the Claw Armor Megazord. Next, attach the base of the Battle Wing Cannon to the chest of the Claw Armor Megazord. And then attach the chest piece of the Bull Megazord to the chest of the Claw Armor Megazord. Now we attach both pieces together. First, take the Claw Armor Megazord and set it on top of the folded out cart parts. Next, attach the giant gun to the head of the Bull Megazord. Next, pull out two connector ports of the Bull Megazord and attach them to the pegs for the Samurai Megazord. Finally, attach the sword of the Samurai Megazord to one of the arms. Here we have the second biggest combination in Power Rangers and Super Sentai history. The Samurai Gigazord. No, not the $30 version of the Gigazord. The actual Samurai Gigazord. In Shinkenger, this combination is known as Samurai Ha-O. The Sentai version of the toy had electronics inside it to make the entire thing move, thanks to Mogu Dio. However, here, it can't move. The detail on this combination looks awesome. Even though it has drills on its arms, lobster claws on the back, a giant cannon, and wings that can fly, it still needs a sword. This combination is really cluttered, like the previous Ultra combination, the RPM Ultra Zord. The Ip Sword arm does really look odd here, since it can't transform into its emblem form. When the Gigazord is put on a scale, it weighs around 5 pounds. Even though it is very cluttered, it can actually move, as one of the arms can actually rotate 360 degrees without the sword, but with the sword, it can only move up and down. In the 
show, the Samurai Gigazord did use the Shark Sword once as the sword. So, in a way, that combination actually ties the first biggest combination, which is the RPM Ultra Zord with 12 Zords. This combination is... actually interesting. While the Gigazord itself is cluttered like past and present combinations, this one looks cool and it can actually move. If you are looking for this combination, try and get all the Samurai Zords and Zord vehicles. If you can't find them all, or if you're looking for all of them at once, Toys R Us has an exclusive bundle which includes all 11 Zords in it. It may be pricey, but it might be worth it. Final verdict on the Gigazord. I give it a good. Well, thank you for watching Power Rangers Samurai Zord Month through the month of March. As always, I'm the Tokutor Reviewer, and see you next time. Reviewer out!